Hey everybody, welcome back to the Peebs channel. We've done a lot of videos of me trying out different snacks and foods from uh, other places. Usually it's Japan. It smells like wet potato. In fact, I'm not sure if we've actually done a video about food or snacks from any other country, but today we finally changed that. We're heading on over to Australia. Oh, that really hurt. Or I mean like at least I'm gonna sit here and pretend like it's Australia. I'm not actually gonna leave my house. Peebs. Hello? I'm in. Oh god, I, I think I hear something. I've got a package from someone who watches the channel. I've actually been in contact with them for a while about various other things. On Twitter, uh, they go by Narul. They live in Australia and they offered to send me some snacks and some different things from Australia. So I said yes. I think we even got some stuff for the dogs. Australian treats for the dogs as well. So make sure you stay tuned to see their uh, opinions on uh, Australia. I've actually had this package for uh, about a week or so and they've just been sniffing the crap out of this every single time they go by it. I don't really know that much much about Australian snacks or anything like that. Pretty much the only thing I can think of when it comes to Australia and like snacks or like weird food of any kind is like, what is it called? Vegemite? It's Vegemite. Tastes like Australia. I assume there's probably Vegemite in here. I mean, it's like an Australian stereotypical like food. I kind of hope it isn't though, because that means I'm going to have to try it. I'm pretty sure it's disgusting. All right, now it's time to really bleed. Careful with knives, careful with knives. YouTube can't sue me because I said careful with knives. Australia has the stickiest tape. Everybody knows that. That's an Australian fact. Australian fact number one. They have the stickiest tape in the world. Australian fact number two. There's actually no koalas there. All right, I don't know what we're about to get. I, I don't know if I should be like excited or nervous. Uh, I'm not sure. Da, 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 da. It's upside down. <laughs> Dude, there's like so many little things in here. What are all these? Shapes, originals, barbecue. This looks good. Pizza. I like pizza. Cheese. Me and Toasty both love cheese. That was a f lie. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, Milo. I know this. It's like a chocolate drink. Oh my God. We have so many things in here. How am I going to eat all this? <laughs> oh God. I think I know what this is. No. No. <laughs> Ah! All right, well, I'm saving that for last. I don't even, how am I gonna eat all this? We'll have to film this over two days. Most of this stuff looks really good though. Looks, oh, some of it looks so good. I'm very excited. Thank you very much, by the way, to uh, Narul, and I believe uh, also your friend who, who uh, put this together for me. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna start with some of these little crackers. They seem easy to manage. Okay, so I think I have all of the sort of savory looking crackers here. I'm gonna try these shapes. Originals, pizza flavor you can see. And then there's also the barbecue and the mini chicken crimpy. What the hell is a crimpy? And then I'll try these cheese twisties. I'm actually kind of hungry, so I'm excited about that. I am not excited about the Vegemite though. I've heard some bad stuff about that. All right, I'm gonna do the chicken one last because that seems the weirdest. I want pizza. Shapes pizza. Smells pretty good. Smells basically like uh, pizza Pringles a little bit. You can see in there, small little package. And yeah. <laughs> What do you know? You can see the flavor. Mmm, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's weird because it actually kind of does taste like pizza. No pizza flavored chip or snack in the US that I've ever had has come even remotely close to tasting like pizza. This surprisingly does. And I like pizza, so I'm I'm gonna rank this. I mean, I don't have, I can't judge it based off anything else yet, so I'm just gonna throw it straight to S. I like that, that's good. I'm actually bummed that I can really only eat one of each thing for now. I mean, obviously I'm gonna save them for later, but for the video, sake of the video, I wanna be able to eat as many things as possible, but I would, I would eat that whole bag. Next, we got Shapes Barbecue. I love barbecue flavored chips and snacks and stuff in the US, but uh, I know in like other countries, like in Japan, the barbecue is like not the same. It's not like that sweet sort of tangy, a barbecue sauce type flavor. It's just like meat flavored. It's usually what it is in Japan. Let's see what it what barbecue is in Australia. Flavor you can see. Australia fact number three. You're not allowed to sell anything in Australia if you can't not see the flavor. That's a lot of people don't know that. Barbecue. Hmm. Don't like this one as much. It's not bad by any means. It just doesn't taste like what I mean, like accustomed to bar a barbecue flavor tasting. Uh, it doesn't taste even remotely sweet, which is a weird complaint for me because I'm always complaining about how like sweet everything in the in the U.S. is. But now that I'm tasting a barbecue thing that doesn't taste sweet at all, I'm wondering where that where's the sugar? Where's the sugar, Australia? Come on, yeah. 
Not bad, but I like the pizza one better. Okay, now this one, I don't know about this. Shapes, but it's like a cracker instead. Mini chicken crimpy. I don't know what crimpy is, but uh, I know I'm not super thrilled about a chicken flavored cracker. They have those in the US too, but uh, you know, nobody eats them. So, <laughs> you know, literally nobody. I don't know why they put them out there. The little crackers, so they're a different like shape. Very small. Well, if I put it up here, it looks big, but I don't know if you guys know about this thing called perspective. I can actually use a magic trick to make it looks smaller. I'm not gonna tell you how I did that. Not bad. I'm tasting more chicken than crimpy. Actually, I'm not tasting any chicken at all. I don't really know. Like, it just tastes like a cracker, but I, I really like crackers, so I, I'm good with this. All right, next we got a different brand, Twisty. It's a cheese huff of some description, I guess, probably. Life's pretty straight without twisties. That's what it says. I didn't say that. I didn't copyright that. <laughs> kind of looks like Cheetos a little bit, definitely, but still, like, not exactly like the way Cheetos look. I'm gonna just assume it's gonna taste exactly like Cheeto. Cheeto-esque, for sure. Australian fact number four. All Australians uh, judge every food uh, product, snack or otherwise, based on how close it tastes like Cheetos. Yeah, not bad so far. The pizza one is by far my favorite. I actually like the chicken crackers, even though they don't really taste like chicken, but those are good. Mm, I want to, I wish I could eat more of those. Honestly, they were pretty tasty. Okay, now I think we're moving it, uh, into like sweet territory, it looks like. We have a bunch of different sweet things. This one's hitting, uh, catching my eye because of the, like, cutesy characters. We got Freddo and Caramello Koala. So what actually are these? They're Cadbury. I love Cadbury like eggs and stuff. Dairy milk, some kind of chocolate or something. Oh, well, there's three flavors. Let's open it up. I think there's individual packages inside of it. Fun factor that Australia number nine, they actually throw everything. They throw everything that they own. I think they should stop. <laughs> I think they should stop. Worst part about Australia from when I went there, everyone's just throwing everything. All right, so we got a milk chocolate, a milky hop, and caramel koala. That's its own flavor. We're gonna eat that guy, I guess. Let's start with the milk chocolate first. Here it is. He's just a little guy. Going to bite off his head. Now that's milk chocolate. Not bad. It kind of tastes like those Christmas chocolates that they sell here a lot. Not that it's like low quality chocolate, but it does kind of have a similar taste to like those low quality Christmas chocolates. But I do like it. I'm not trying to insult you, up. Freddo. Well, let's try caramel koala now. I assume there's gonna be car uh, caramel in it. Comment section, do you pronounce it caramel or caramel? I don't know why. I used to always call it caramel, but for some reason at some point I just started calling it caramel all the time. I don't know when that happened. It was an accident. <laughs> Okay, now we're talking. No, because the chocolate was not bad, but it needed some like flavor, extra flavor in it. That's the caramel. Most of the snacks I have for this video, I actually really like with, uh, you know, at least one uh, big exception. But I can't lie, after I finished filming, as well as like the entire next day, I was insanely tired. I just had like no energy whatsoever. Garbage in, garbage out. That's what I'm always saying. Luckily, the sponsor of this video is here to help me out, Factor. Factor delivers fresh, ready-made meals that are never frozen straight to your door. But not only are they fresh, they're also healthy. And I can speak from experience here, they're also delicious. Factor's meal options are updated weekly with 27 plus meals and 34 plus add-on options to choose from. And since they're pre-prepared by professional chefs, it's super easy and convenient. You can cook them in the oven, which is my preferred method, or you can even make them straight from the microwave. Even someone as incompetent as me can do it. I need to, I can't hold this with one hand. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna drop it. Even if only barely. Every time I eat unhealthy meals like fast food or, I don't know, like eight pounds of chocolate from Australia, just as an example, I lose so much energy and it's really hard for me to get anything done. But Factor Meals are healthy and dietitian approved to fuel you and your day and everything you wanna get done in your day, you're gonna get it done, good job. I mean, I just ate a Factor Meal right before recording this and I feel great. If you wanna try it out, use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code PUG. Peeps 130. Yes. For $120 off across six boxes. And if you don't believe me that it's delicious, then take it from my associate, the taste expert, Azura. To be approved. All right, now I'm doing the milky top. I, is it like a malt ball type situation or something? Oh, it's milky top. So it's like a white chocolate kind of thing. 
pretty good. Nothing about these like stand out a crazy amount to me, but they are pretty good. I'm a big like caramel and chocolate person too, so I'm, I'm down with that. So you something that's not chocolate? It's moments like these that you need mentees. Allen's mentees. I'm assuming these are gonna kind of taste like mints that you get at the restaurants or something after you eat a meal. It just says minties. I don't know like actually what flavor it's gonna be. I mean, it's just gonna be mint. It's kind of hard. <laughs> Yeah, not, not bad. I kind of I kind of want to try it with the chocolate. I love I'm just mint chocolate. Not bad, but yeah, eat it with the chocolate frog guy. Even better. I don't know this for a fact, so it's not an Australian fact, but they definitely 100% give these out at restaurants after you finish your meal. Not bad. All right, what do we got here? Pods. I think Mars is the company probably. So they're called pods. Like they look like some kind of chocolate wafer uh, with some kind of caramel looking chocolate thing in the middle. Deliciously rich Mars caramel cradle in a crispy baked wafer topped off with creamy milk chocolate. Mmm. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's do it. I'll let you look before I even get to. I, uh, yeah. See? Don't say I never did nothing for you. Okay, here's what it looks like. Uh, smaller than I was expecting based on the picture in the box, but it is a wafer. A chocolate little thing cradled in a wafer. I can't say that it's not cradled. There's definitely some cradling happening here. Mm. It's got a caramel in the middle, as you can see from the picture in the box. Bam! That's a good one. This is going on the S tier with the pizza crackers. I like that a lot, because I like chocolate with caramel, and also I love crunchy stuff. Just add it in. Just make anything have crunch. Pizza needs a little crunch on the crust. Chicken, you need a little crunchy, uh, out, you need a little crunchy batter on the outside. Milk, you need a little bit of crunch in there. You gotta age it till it has some crunch. Everything can benefit with crunch. I could eat all of these. These are actually really good. Pods. All right, what else are in there? Ooh, Smarties. I think I've had Smarties before. Are these the same Smarties that they have in uh, in Canada? I think so. Smarties in the US is a different thing. They're really like this chalky candy. They're just about the lowest tier of candy that you can get in the US, in my opinion. Smarties in Canada, they look a lot like this. I assume that it might be the same thing. They basically like, look like M&Ms. That's because they are like M&M's. They're M&M's without the M on it. It's been a while since I had an M&M, but I'm gonna go off on a limb and say these are better. At least marginally. Not bad. I should have balanced out some of the savory stuff with this chocolate. Oh, here we go. Something that's not chocolate. Anzac Biscuit. Australia's authentic recipe. I'm gonna eat it now. Oh, God. What is actually, like, is this gingerbread? The Anzac Biscuit, as it is known today, came to take its special place in history during World War One. Dude, made with oats, coconut, golden syrup, and no eggs. These biscuits have the unique ability to stay fresh for long periods of time, which meant that they could last the time it took to get Anzac soldiers fighting overseas. Baked by wives, mothers, and sweethearts, these biscuits symbolize love and care from home. Dude, we're about to celebrate the Australian spirit in every bite. I'm stoked for that. I didn't feel any Australian spirit from any of the other stuff. So I better feel it with this. Ooh, that's good. Here it is. Looks like a little peanut butter cookie, basically. I mean, I don't think it is. It didn't say it had peanut butter, but that's what it looks like. Oh, this actually smells good. That's good. Mm, I can taste the coconut in it, too. This is good. It has a slightly strange texture. I assume it's because it doesn't have eggs in it. So it's not like... It's a little tougher, a little bit less satisfying to chew on because a cookie would normally either be like kind of crunchy or really soft. This is kind of almost neither. But the taste is on point. I like that. I'm eating all of those. Yummy! Let's get another one! Oh, I just remembered that there's Vegemite in there. Oh, God. Why? Oh, my God. What is this? Cadbury milk bars. But they don't look like just regular chocolate bars. Like this one, for example, you can clearly see some, like, fruity flavors in the middle or some, something. Six delicious flavors. This is a snack, by the way. It's Australian fact number 12. They call every food snack. It's just their word for food. And then this one has uh, jelly popping candy beanies. What? I'm gonna get jelly pops popping in my mouth. I don't want anything to pop in my mouth. That doesn't sound like something I want. Also, it looks like it has like those M&M things in it. See, there's the jelly pop. There's the M&M thingy. Whatever you call those. Uh, I just had five seconds ago. Smarties. That's another Australian fact. Actually, Australians can remember things a lot longer than uh, me. All of them. They're, okay, they're both milk chocolate, which is good. I've never really liked dark chocolate that much, unless it has like mint in it or something. I'm actually super excited for these. These seem good. I'm gonna try the um, one with the jellies in it. The jellies that don't pop, hopefully. Right, okay. 
open this with a knife. It's actually a, another Australian fact. The Australians banned knives in uh, 1876. Awesome. Ooh, it smells uh, surprisingly fruity. Oh, funny. You can see what flavors are uh, in each little chocolate morsel. Like this is clearly a strawberry, I'm assuming. This is like some kind of orange, probably a pineapple. I have no idea what this is. It's lime flavor. It says it has six different flavors on it. It's kind of a weird number. I would have thought it might've been four and there would be each one on a different flavor on each thing, but no, they're just like separated. I can already see, I opened it up. I can already see like the filling coming out. So it seems like they didn't skimp out on the, on the inside filling. I actually, I have no idea what this is going to be, but I'm ready to try it. Coconut, I guess? Doesn't really taste like coconut though. Oh, it says right here. It is, okay, it's coconut ice. I was gonna say it has like a weird cool flavor in it. Oh, this is Turkish delight. Ooh, yeah, very jelly, very jelly. Yeah, it's like an orange Turkish delight type thing. I don't really like Turkish delight that much. They make it seem really good in that Blind Witch in the Wardrobe movie, but it's really actually not. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to try every single one of these. I won't bother trying the caramel. I do want the strawberry though. Mm, I love strawberry chocolate. Mm, that's good. Mm, I did kind of want to try pineapple though. It's very yellow inside. Mm, that's good. Yeah, if you like fruity flavored chocolate, you could do way worse than that. All right, now the one with jelly pops in it. I'm already starting to get, I won't say full, but I will say not hungry. I'm starting to feel fairly I forgot the word. It's kind of funny looking. It's got very odd looking shapes. I don't know if any of them are any different though. I taste some kind of fruity flavor, but I didn't feel a, a jelly pop per se. There's the pop. It's like popping. It's like, ah, okay, okay, that's what it means by popping. Popping candy like a, like actually popping in my mouth. Like what do you call this, pop? What is the name of the candy that you like put in your mouth and it pops? I forget. It's not quite as loud of a pop and uh, loud and aggressive of a pop as those, but it definitely is popping. Too weird but satisfying feeling. It actually tastes pretty good. All right, what do we got next? Special treats. Are you telling me the rest of them weren't special? What a rip off. This is another thing from Cadbury. So I thought the Cadbury was like an English company. Is it actually Australian? I don't know. I could look it up, but <laughs> I don't have a computer. All right, we got Crunchies, Turkish Delights, which again, I don't really like that much, but I'll definitely try it. Boost and Cherry Ripe. I think these are chocolate flavored stuff. I'm not 100% sure though. I'm gonna try the Turkish Delight. Cause it's gonna have like some kind of, I think orange jelly in it. Oh yeah, very jelly, very jelly, jellied. It's the second time I don't really have the right word for that. Yeah, it's like orange, orange jelly. I don't hate it, but it's a weird texture. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like jelly or like a gelatin type thing that I'm used to. It's a little bit softer, kind of a strange texture. I, yeah, again, I've never been a big fan of Turkish Delight though. So very strong, like orange peel flavor too, which is a, uh, you know, an acquired taste, I guess. Let's try whatever this boost is. Smooth chalk and biscuit center, rolled in caramel and coated in Cadbury milk chocolate. Uh, I think I'll like this. This is giving me strong hints of Twix, but not as crunchy of a cookie. Other than that, it tastes pretty similar to Twix without that weird chemically aftertaste that Twix had. I swear I didn't used to have that. At one point I used to really like Twix, but then all of a sudden it has this weird like factory chemically weird aftertaste to it. Am I the only one? I think they changed it. Change it back. All right, next we got crunchy. What is this? An explosion of golden honeycomb? Whoa. Me want honeycomb. I'd say, do they still do commercials with that guy? But I think he died. He had a, uh, addiction problems. <laughs> that, that's a little dark, but you know, Toasty could decide to keep that in or not. Whoa, interesting. It's got a very interesting texture. I don't love it. <laughs> I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I like it enough that I'll probably eat, eat the rest of them, but it'll be like the ones that are left over. Next, we got Cherry Ripe. Luscious cherries and coconut and old gold rich dark chocolate. This is old chocolate? They couldn't even give me fresh ones? <laughs> Again, I don't love dark chocolate, but uh, depending on what other flavors are mixed with it, could be good. Let's see. Almost looks like raw meat inside. <laughs> Am I wrong? 
Look at that. Looks kind of like raw, raw beef. This is the coconut. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Not just because it looks like raw beef. I don't love dark chocolate, but it's actually the coconut that's bothering me. I don't mind coconut. Like there was coconut in the biscuits and stuff. I like it if there's a hint of coconut. I don't like like actual coconut very much. What's the pina colada? I'll drink the hell out of, 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 out of a pina colada on the beach. All right, we're moving closer and closer to doing the freaking Vegemite. I don't even know like what, how you, what are you supposed to eat with this stuff? Are not mint slice. Crunchy biscuit, velvety mint cream, and Arnott's real chocolate. So it's like a mint cookie. Sounds good. Actually, it sounds terrible. Mostly just because I've eaten like 18 pieces of chocolate in a row. Other than that, it would sound good. I'm going to have a stomach ache later. <laughs> I need a piece of broccoli. Oh wait, so these kind of look like and smell like those Girl Scout cookies. I forget what they're called. The mint ones. Yeah, very simple cookie, but good flavor combination. It has a good crunch to it. I like that. I, I love chocolate and mint flavors. Okay, that one's like, that one's not an S, but it's, it's in like the A or B. Oh my God. I'm starting to get full, guys. <clears throat> starting to get... Ugh. Let's press on. But I gotta press on. We got Tim Tams. I've heard of this brand before. Again, this is like a kind of cookie biscuit thing. There's a chewy caramel flavor. Looks like it might have nougat in it. I'm not sure. And then just like uh, the original, yeah. I'm about to eat the smallest bite of Tim Tams that anyone has ever eaten in their life. That's how full I'm getting right now. I'm dying for some of those uh, sh those pizza shapes again. I need something that's not sweet. Oh my God. This looks very pleasant though. I will say that. So obviously it seems like some kind of nougat or like sandwich, but it's like coated in chocolate also. Yeah, I don't think it's nougat, but there's some kind of soft filling. It tastes pretty good. I don't understand why I'm thinking this, but it kind of reminds me of an Oreo. Even though there's no cream, there's like chocolate cream. And the cookies aren't exactly the same texture and Oreo's not coated in chocolate. But for some reason, the closest thing flavor-wise and texture-wise, it reminds me of is an Oreo. So do with that what you will. Ooh, I gotta try the caramel one. Oh boy. Okay, this is actually the last thing, uh, the last food besides the Vegemite. Also, I gotta make a chocolate drink. Yeah, this one tastes basically exactly the same, but it has a little caramel in it. I think I like this one better just because it's a slight more variety of flavors, but I can't eat another bite of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That'll have to be for later. <sighs> All right, what is this? I mean, I know what Milo is. It's powder. I don't know why it's in a can. I get, oh, okay. I don't need a can opener, I guess. I can just like open it maybe with a knife or something. But yeah, this is a brand that I was already familiar with. I remember they did some advertisements with the MLS, Major League Soccer, or something like that. Because I have a very vague memory of going to a uh, Dallas soccer game. I forget the name of the team. I was really into soccer when I was younger. My dad took me to a game and they had this big Milo booth set up where there was like this giant circle. Or what actually was pretty small. It was like really far out and really high up and you had to kick a soccer ball through it. I waited in a line for a long time to do it and uh, no one was getting it. And I, 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 I remember your boy got it, all right? Your boy got it. I don't know if I have any evidence of that, but I did get a Milo shirt. It was green and kind of thick. I wore that for a long time. I'm sure I outgrew it. Yeah, what can I say though? It was it was easy. I, I, honestly, I, I, the only reason I didn't become a, prof a professional soccer player was because I was too busy uh, playing video games on the internet. Otherwise, I totally would have done it. All right, so I assume I'm supposed to mix this with milk? Oh God, all right. Make your perfect cup of Milo. Great to enjoy hot or cold. Yeah, so you mix it in with milk. God. Here's the thing about that. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm too full. I, I do need nourishing energy, but I don't need it in the form of chocolate milk right now. I just cannot handle it right now. It pushed me over the edge. I will film myself drinking this maybe tomorrow in the morning with my phone or something. We'll insert that here. Early the next morning. Hi, it's my first time. <laughs> I'm going to have the milk drink. I love you. My wife made me breakfast and I got the drink. I love you. Nourishing energy. Oh God. How do you open this? Okay, there we go. Never mind. I know how. What is this? Any Australians? What is that? Am I supposed to rip this open? Okay. Choco powder. This is where you snort it. You snort it up if you're busy that day and you don't have time for the milk. Oh. Spinach. Speed this part up. Won't stir. Do you need like a blender? 
<laughs> My little coffin. All right, this is about as stern as it's gonna get. It doesn't look very appetizing, to be honest. Cheers. This tastes like regular milk. Okay, I'm assuming that milk was good. What I'm assuming will not be good though, the Vegemite. I have heard all about Vegemite and I know exactly what it is, yet I still somehow don't know what it is at all. I know that like one out of every 25 people like it a lot and everyone else dislikes it. So what even is in it? The first ingredient is concent concentrated yeast extract. Cool. Bega Cheese Limited? What the heck does that mean? Is that an ingredient? Is no. there cheese in this? Ah. <laughs> I read all the ingredients. I still don't know what's in it. I thought maybe there were supposed to be vegetables in it, but I don't see any vegetables in here. Oh God, this is gonna be bad. What do you even do with it? I think you like might put it on a cracker or something. I could ruin one of those pizza crackers. I'm going to open it. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe it's not that bad. Okay. Oh, it, uh, <coughs> I barely had any on my finger. <coughs> I can barely stand the smell of it. Oh, toast. I have to go make some toast. All right, I got my toast. I got my Vegemite. Uh, ready to do this here. Give it a nice spread. Here we go. Looks. Great! It smells like soy sauce mixed with an aquarium. <laughs> Am I crazy? If you spilled a bunch of soy sauce into like a fish tank, that's what this smells like. I don't wanna. Took a second for the Vegemite to touch my tongue. It's the most bitter, it's like burning. It's like burning me. <laughs> what is that? I need regular bread. Get that on my mouth. God, it's like the most bitter thing that has ever touched my tongue. At first I was like, well, that's not so bad, but then I'm like, I'm just tasting the bread. The split second the Vegemite touched my tongue, it like felt like my tongue was being burned, but it wasn't hot. It was just like, felt like, get this out of your mouth now. That's what my, that's what my head was telling me. Yeah, that's insanely bitter. It doesn't taste like anything else that I've ever tried before and hopefully ever again. If I, if I had more willpower, I would try some without the bread. The only way that, that was, I could even swallow that was because it was mostly bread. My wife wanted to try the Vegemite I'm gonna go uh, try, uh, give it to her, see what she thinks. She says she's ambivalent, which I'm gonna take as she didn't like it. In more detail, she said it tasted like a really, really salty uh, molasses that's not sweet at all. And that kind of is, is actually what it tastes like. It definitely doesn't taste like it was meant for human consumption. And despite being told that it's good for you, there's no way it is. I read the ingredients. I don't understand even what 90% of this is. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it's not good for you. Don't eat it. Dogs? Dogs, come here. Are you ready to try it? Are you ready to try your treats? They've been sniffing this package for like a week. Then when are we gonna get it? Let's go get it. You excited? I got new shoes because Toasty was making fun of my other ones. Oh, is this for you guys? Oh my God. Are these for you? <gasps> Doobie. Are those for you? I think so. What do you think? We're getting a sniff test. Gonna try the kangaroo super snacks and whooping good kangaroo tails. Okay. Zibi. <laughs> okay. Good. What do you think of that? Going back for a second bite. Oh, she's killing it. She's murdering it. Oh, she's a savage. You finished already. You finished. Where's the rest? 100% kangaroo for maximum flavor. This dog seems to like it. Uh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 he doesn't seem to think so. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it, it's mine. It's my kangaroo tail. What do you think, Zimmy? Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. 
<laughs> like that? I think they like it. <laughs> it's big news. <laughs> yeah, I think I think they're gonna like these. I said a hit. Pop the hippie, the hippie to the hip, hip hop, and you don't stop the rock to the bang bang. Pull your set up, jump the boogie 